Hey, I'm Dave Watkins, Watkins Films. Now, there's been several um, Criterion Collection UHD releases that I've been keeping my eye on that, that I've been considering buying to take a look at. Now, with the Criterion Collection releases, I'll, I'll usually wait until they go on sale. Um, it, it tends to happen once or twice a year, either through the, uh, the Criterion website itself or through Barnes & Noble. Now, in this instance, uh, Barnes & Noble put out their 50% off suggested retail price, which puts, puts the uh, 4K disc at uh, $24.95 each. And that's about as low as I've seen them go for the 4K releases. Um, so once this happened, I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got several of the, the ones I've been, I've been looking at, including this one, Bound. Um, this is... A, uh, a neo noir. It is from 1996. A neo noir erotic thriller. It is also a crime drama, um, and it stars Jennifer Tilly, Gina Gershon, and Joe Pantaleono. Um, this was done by the Wanowskis. Now the Wanowskis would go on after this to make the Matrix movies, um, which they're most famous for, and also um, V for Vendetta. And my, my favorite of theirs is Cloud Atlas. Now, most people won't have that opinion. I think most people would go for The Matrix. But Cloud Atlas, which is about um, reincarnation through different time periods and the same actors playing different characters who are reincarnated, um, or maybe they're not in some instances. But uh, I think this is a very beautiful and um, very complex movie. But Bound, on the other hand, it's a lot more simpler, but it is very well done. This was their directorial debut. This is my first time watching this movie um, off of this disc, and I think previously I haven't watched it before because I knew it was a it was a lesbian movie. But I, you know, I thought maybe I didn't know if it was an exploitation film or what. But it is more of a of eventually a crime drama. It starts out with this um, relationship between um, Jennifer Tilly's character and Gina Gerson, who live in this apartment complex and she has a um a boyfriend who's involved with a mob uh, but they uh her and Gina Gerson kind of have uh have a fling going on now but that's the way it starts and if if you're looking for more of a, a like a lesbian romantic drama with some intense tensity to it but not like not the crime element um I would recommend another criterion release uh, blue is the warmest color now th this is a um it's a very long movie, but the, the chemistry between these two actresses is outstanding, and there's some very um, intense scenes between them in some instances. And there's a, there's a lot of sex scenes uh, that go on for quite some time. Apparently, they were shooting those scenes, like some of them like a, like a week or longer. But in this one, there, there is a sex scene between the two women. Um, it's, it's very tasteful. Not the, the other, It's tasteful in the other movie, too, but it's just a, a lot more extreme. The chemistry between Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gerson in this movie is, is amazing. It, it, is very, it is very believable. It's very well done. Um, Gina Gerson, in particular, not necessarily the, the chemistry, but I really believe that her, the character she's playing here. She embodies the character in, in a way that, that just uh, kind of comes off screen you know, in a way, even Jennifer Tilly's character is very believable too. She's like the mob, the mob guy's girlfriend who who is kind of a who seems to be more attracted to women, but she's also been kind of a, somewhat abused by this guy. At the same time, she's he's been you know paying paying all of her all of her bills and giving her whatever she wants, but she is in a very intense place where this guy. Um, he runs a. He works for a crime family, and he's often doing things that that put everyone around them in danger. And and there are people being killed and stuff around. So it's a hard. It, that would be a hard situation to be in. And it also, it, it, this movie is very. It's eventually as it goes further into the movie, it gets very intense with with the violence in it, and it it kind of goes from. And not that, not very much intense to very extreme. I mean, these these mob guys in this movie are are not playing around. These these are these are serious guys, and and the trouble that they they get into in this movie, um, they the two women decide to, to steal the money from the mob, and they have a a, a very intricate plan that um, is 
not 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 very smart. Uh, I think that they would eventually have have gotten caught no matter what they do. They thought they think they're very smart, but they um they get themselves in, in a very um, intense situation. Now most of this movie takes place in an apartment or a condo building, D different different rooms like the uh, you know Gina Garçon's character's room is some, and then um, the main um, Jennifer Tilly's condo. And it's some outside, and there's a few scenes in the movie in other places, but it, for the most part, most of the action takes place in in this kind of one centralized location. But it is a it is a very good script, and the acting is is very is very well done. It also has um, John Ryan in it, who is known for the It's Alive movies. He appeared in It's Alive one and two, and he plays one of the mob guys who who has the most screen time and. Um, He's very intense in in Bound, and another thing that I find very interesting: um, all, all the main cast members, um, Jennifer Tilly, Gina Gerson, and Joe Pantaleono, uh, appear in a, a kind of a meta episode of Chucky. Jennifer Tilly's in a lot of the episodes. She she plays uh, she plays Tiffany, who um, takes over Jennifer Tilly's body. So she's basically, everyone thinks she's still Jennifer Tilly, but then they have like Jennifer Garçon and Joe Pantileono playing themselves in the episode. And it's uh, it, it's an amazing episode. I highly would recommend it. It's, it's a season two episode. Well, let's take a look at the, the technical specs of Bound, and then we'll open it up and take a look at the disc. Um, this is a new 4K digital restoration of the unrated international version supervised and approved by cinematographer Bill Hope. Uh, uh, this is, like I say, this is the first time I saw this movie, so I can't compare it to what it looked like previously, but uh, I thought the, uh, the transfer was, it was very, it was very well done. Um, I, it looked very much like it, it was probably supposed to look. It is a neo-noir, so it does kind of tend to have more dark lighting, and, and some of the skin tones are intentionally not natural. But it, the, you know, the clarity's there, the details there. It, it may have been a little bit of a. I, I didn't see anything that looked like it was it was fixed, but I didn't also didn't see a lot of heavy grain in the movie. It, it all looked very. It, it looked so so much uh, so good that I didn't even really think about the transfer. It wasn't when I was blown away by, it, but I, while I was watching it, I didn't I didn't really think about it too much. But let's take a look at the disc and the inside stuff. So we got um, two disc. We have the 4K and this is a Blu-ray. So we have a 4K and a Blu-ray version of both of them. And we also have. Appears to be a small booklet. There's Gina Gerson and there's uh, Jennifer Tilly, um, who was also very amazing in this movie. I did like what, what she did. I really like her voice in general. Um, and her voice is very distinctive. And um, I'll also, I'll say Joe Joe Pantileona is very intense in this movie, and I, I, I really I like him anyway. I've known him from uh, I've seen him in a lot of movies. I don't know him, but I've seen him in a lot of other movies like The Goonies and Memento. But I, I, he's been in like so many movies I saw before this, and but it was uh, yeah, he it was a very intense performance, and I really like like the way his uh, and the paranoia he exhibits in it. It's it's really really good. But anyway, we'll take a. Uh, a like to my page and if you would subscribe I'm Dave Watkins and thanks for watching mm -hmm.